Hello there guys, welcome back to a short online tutorial. Today we're based in Adobe Photoshop and it's Jack from Blue Sky Graphics. The reason why we're here today guys, because what I wanna do is show you how to place any sort of logo or graphic on any type of surface within Adobe Photoshop. As you can see here in front of us, what we have is a silk-like texture. And what I've done is I placed this uh, rose-like logo design upon this texture. And as you can see, it's really interacting with the folds uh, and it looks really realistic in the sense of it being printed on that particular fabric. And what I'd like to do today is show you the step-by-step -step process of how to create such effects. Okay, so what I have here is the original file here. So I'm just gonna remove this layer and start again. <clears throat> okay, so with, uh, with my layers window, I'm just gonna unlock the layer by clicking the padlock there. And what I would need to do first of all is make this image into a black and white image. So with that layer highlighted, I'm gonna to come to image adjustments and I have the option of here to go to desaturate. Okay, I need to apply a slight blur to this. So yeah, again, with the layer highlighted, I'm gonna to come to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Around 20 would be a good type of uh, radius here you can manipulate and change depending on how it works for yourself. Just a little subtle blur to apply, and then you press OK. So what we need to do is we need to uh, save this uh, this image. So we're going to go to File, Save As. We'll keep it as a PSD uh, document. Wonderful, what we'll do is we'll come through and call this Fabric 1, and we'll go Save. OK, fantastic. So. Let's close that tab down and we'll come through and open up the original uh, fabric image. Now, like I said, any type of logo or shape or anything that you can create will be able to be placed upon this document. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my custom shape tool here. And if we come through at the top here, we have these options for flowers, leaf trees, wild animals, boats, but we're gonna stick to the original um, image. Example, and we're going to come through and create this rose like shape, pressing shift to keep it nice and proportionate. Just going to come to the fill option like so, and let's put a, a fill in there. White would work best, I believe. And let's come through and remove the stroke. Wonderful. Just going to place this now onto the document like so. Okay, so with that layer highlighted now, I'm gonna to come to filter, distort, and then displace. What will happen is it will ask you to convert it to a smart object or rasterize. I would uh, suggest you to convert it to a smart object because you'd then apply a smart filter, which you can edit and change at a later date. Okay, these scales are perfect. So now we're just gonna press okay. What we need to do is find that original uh, image that we edited earlier. So I had the Fabric 1 option there, and we're gonna press open. Wonderful. Now we really need to add our final finishing touch. And what we need to do is apply a layer style to this top layer. Very easy. If you just double click the layer, it will bring up your layer style. You have this option here of the underlying layer and using the shortcut option on a Mac or Alt on Windows, I am now gonna separate that divider there like so. And as you can see now, that logo is really looking and realistic with them folds there and press okay. And there you have it guys. If you're interested in finding more about Blue Sky Graphics, please take a look, take a look at our website at blueskygraphics.co.uk. Also take a look at our socials at Blue Sky Graphics UK. There's some really cool information on there about graphic design and some cool designs that our really talented students have done in the past. Thank you very much, guys. Take care and I'll see you next time.